Hello, today I will show you how to create elbow in software as Autodesk Revit. It will look like that. Now jump to the creation itself. Now what we need to do is to create family based on the template of metric generic model. And afterward we will change the category of the element. We will start from the reference plane to that we will connect the first face of the elbow but before to jump to the geometry I will start from creating of the profile and based on this profile we will create the geometry for the elbow of course we can create geometry based on the elements in this family but in this case we need to add a lot of additional parameters that will make family a bit more complicated so to avoid it i would recommend to use profile now we need to create new family based on the template like metric profile once it opens we will create two circles one within another what diameter will it be it doesn't really matter we just need two of them the outer diameter will be diameter external yeah what we need to do we need to give the label to the dimension in our case it will be diameter external with the with category of type and next one will be inside diameter and that will match with diameter internal Once we are done here, we will add one additional parameter, such as thickness. And based on the thickness of the element, we will be determining the inside diameter of the element. To do that, to do such kind of calculation, we need to write down the expression quite simple expression so it will be diameter external minus thickness multiplied by 2 oh sorry minus thickness multiplied by 2 once it's ready we need to save it somewhere locally and load it back to our primary family now what we need to do in my case first I need to enable project browser now what we need to do we need to find family just load it in the category of profiles and we need to assign the values for the label dimensions of the profile D will be equal to diameter external and we need to change the category to instance and the thickness will be equal to thickness of the elbow with the category of instance clicking ok ok and now we can start with the geometry Before to start with the geometry, what we need to do is to create a couple of additional parameters like radius, diameter nominal and in my case it will be B. What is B? I will explain you a bit later. 
let's enter some values just to ensure that it will be empty let's make it like that and let's jump to the geometry first we'll add additional reference plane that will not give radius to move somewhere else center sorry not this not the elbow but the center of the element yeah that, that, that might cause the movement of the elbow itself and we will create the elbow with the instrument like sweep first we need to sketch the path I will make it like that. What we need to do, we need to lock the first face of the elbow on the primary surface. The first plane that we could create. For the second edge, I will wait for a bit. But what we will do now, we need to enable the center of this line. To ensure that we can also lock it in the same position like that once that was done we click in ok and now we can select select the profile of the element let me check once more what do we have here and what do we have here Oh, what? B. Ah, of course. Here I still need to change it to one hundred eight point nine. And now we can see that the elbow has been created at least base geometry of the elbow what we need to do now we need to add surface reference plane that will work as an angle of the elbow now what we need to do we need to give it a label with the property with the type of instance and we need to assign the value or the expression for B that should calculate the sort of central line of the elbow at this point. To do that, we need to type in the expression. Expression always will be the same, doesn't matter what it will be. In our case, it will be property B. And here we just need to type in the R multiplied by tangents of angle divided by two. Oh, by two. Yes, and this is the value. Apply. Okay. And now, the only thing left is to give this dimension in the calculated value of B, and then the elbow will be moved. As you see, there is still one item is missing like we need to lock the second face of the elbow oh, yeah it's a bit tricky but you can manage it of course it would be it would be better that would be better if we will make it like that 
before I start to modify, but anyway, we already done with this. What we need to do now, we need to change the category of the element to make sure that it will appear correctly in the MTO or whatsoever and also it will be visible in the pipe types. We'll here select pipe fitting. Here it was assigned to elbow. Round connected them dimensions use the ammeter. This is totally okay. And now I will add two connectors. The connectors could be found here. Here you have a multiple connectors. In our case, we'll use pipe connector. And now we need to ensure that the diameters of this diameter of these connectors will be equal to the nominal diameter of the connected pipe. Now we're clicking OK. And we also need to change the system classification. In our case it is fitting, so we need to change it to fitting. Also, what we need to do here we need to give the constraints angle that should be equal to the angle of the elbow. Okay, good. And once it was done, one item still is missing, we need to link those connectors. Once they are linked, we need to ensure that this connector will be primary one. This is true. And basically that's it. We are done with the geometry. And next time I will show you how to create the lookup table based on the EN standard. And we will connect this lookup table with the properties that have been created. Thanks for watching and see you next time.